These two projects, they, they share soft and elasticity. I think one of the issues in life is um, somehow being in a better relation with your body. Uh, so more and more we work on things that are soft, that can move, that can extend. Uh, and I think it has also kind of contemporary background uh, with our time, which is uh, changing a lot. So I find that um, elasticity and softness uh, is one of the answer to the contemporary breakdown. Living now is, is made for change. While in the 70s, it was not exactly the same. In the 70s, you would marry, you would have a house, you would... Uh, I think contemporary times are much more about movement. Sometimes people see uh, a kind of organic approach uh, into a work, but it's more to look for a certain um, organization in the mess. We like the disorganization, uh, and somehow we try also to bring into the furniture something that is not totally precise, fixed, and that is not kind of conveying a preset tradition. So for that, of course, there is a language of shapes that does not too much belong to one side of culture or another side of culture. And more and more, we are also working a lot around textiles, soft material. Here's a shelf are made of rubber that is kind of moving under the pressure. So keep a certain movement inside life is something that is important for us. For me, Cassina is many different kind of picture. It's Gaetano Pecce, it's Magistretti, uh, it's historical, uh, it's an old and new company. Italian companies always find a way to be super active, uh, super contemporary. So, no, for me, Cassina is uh, it's like a cloud. Uh, I can't exactly describe the cloud in one word. Mm -hmm.